In this video, we're going to show you how to use a USB thumb drive to upload rates into your taxi meter. This method is perfect for mass fleet utilization and up-to-date rate changes. The Record CG3 taxi meter is able to use a USB thumb drive to do multiple things, upload rates, download trip statistics, but in this video we're going to show you how to upload your new rates. First we're going to check and see if the meter has any rates installed. Currently there is nothing installed in this meter. When you hire the meter, zero comes up, you are unable to select additional rates, there's no other additional information in the, in the meter apart from the date and time. We'll now show you how to use our rate file generator on our website. Here on our website, recordtaximeter.com, we have a page for support. Under this page, right at the top you'll see rate generator for the CG3 taximeter. Click to access the rate generator and you'll be given a form. We're going to select two rates. We're going to enter in our cab number. We're going to enter in the extras we would like and the max extras we would like as well. We're going to do our tax type, in this case 5%, and whether or not the tax is added at the beginning or end of the fare. Now these two options down here are the distance and time controlled rate changes. These are only used in special circumstances if you need to change your rate to a different setting at a different time or a different distance. Here we're going to enter in our first flag, our hourly rate, our first drop distance, our second drop distance, and the increment we wish the fare to increase by. These five spaces are all you need for rate number one. Rate number two, the hourly rate, first and second drop distances, and our increment. This completes rate 2. In this case, we're not entering rates 3 through 6, so it's okay to leave them blank. To generate everything, hit the, hit the button and you're going to be given a file that says rates. This file is very important to keep it labeled as rates. You should not change the name of the file because that is what the meter is looking for. Here in the file you can see a breakdown in CSV values showing all the information that the meter is going to read to be able to program your rate properly. As you can see there's nothing here for the additional rates and that's okay. These can be uploaded blank or if you need to add more rates you can do that as well. What you're going to want to do is take the file, drop it onto your USB thumb drive, make sure again not to change the name of the file, and then remove the USB from your computer. Back at the meter with our flash drive, we're going to use an adapter to bring it from type A to a mini USB. What we're going to do is insert it into the side of the meter. We're going to take our programming pin and put the meter into programming mode. You want to select the down button to USB load. Press the time button and you'll see a flashing done when you know the upload is successful. Now what we're going to do is cycle through the meter to the rates to make sure all of the rates are programmed. In this instance, this flash drive had six rates, so we're just double checking to make sure all the rates have been inputted properly. As we can see, all the rates programmed into this flash drive have been uploaded successfully. This method is perfect when you have a mass rate change for your fleet and need to do the rate changes in a fast and orderly fashion. If you have any more questions, visit us at our website at recordtaximeter.com or give us a call at 1-800-661-1649.